டீ குடிக்கிற பாருங்க Hey guys. Welcome, Welcome to the edges of earth. My name is Brock. It is almost 11 o'clock p.m. I am in Ramna uh where am I? I am in Madurai. I'm trying to take a bus to go to Chennai to meet a friend. If you can remember a long time ago, I was in Bangladesh and there was one man who helped me with the street food, Tanzeed. And so basically, he is in Chennai right now and he says, "Hey, come and visit me." So here I am. going from mother i taking a night bus meeting him in the morning i guess we'll hang out all day i i have no idea what we're doing i have no idea where we're going but we're going to do it so let's go to the bus let's go to chennai awesome say hello <laughs> it's very cold you don't do it you're 21 do we have blankets oh nice yeah. because it's very very cold Okay, I made it on the bus. It's really cold in here. We have the the AC. I'm definitely shutting that off. These poles. It feels like if I touch my tongue to this thing, my tongue would stick to it. It is that cold in here. Luckily, they have blankets. Oh my god, there's more. The space is so small. So I just woke up about 20 minutes ago. I arrived at this bus stand and now I have to look for another bus to another area to meet Tanzid. So uh I think it's this way. There's like a thousand buses. After a quick pit stop in the bathroom, uh going this way to find a bus. So out of a thousand buses that were at the stand, uh I walked up to one random one in the middle. And the guy says, "Oh, the bus that you need is this one." I chose one that was, I guess, correct. Now I'm on my way to the beach. I guess I have a while. Uh I think Penzi is here on business, so he becomes free at about 11 o'clock or something like that. So I'm going to go hang out at the beach, maybe find some breakfast and uh wait from there. After about 40 minutes on a bus, I made it to the Bay of Bengal. Whoa, those are some big steps. <laughs> uh the Bay of Bengal and so I think I have like between 2 and 3 hours before I'm supposed to meet him at his hotel. So anyway, I have really nothing else to do besides possibly find breakfast and go check out the water. So I think all of these shops which there's like 20,000 of them, they all appear to be closed. <laughs> I think they're all for the uh uh the evening so this particular bus dropped me like 3 kilometers away from the hotel so i'm i've been walking for quite a while it's uh, and the sun is coming out so it's uh it's rather warm and it's still only not even like 9 o'clock in the morning so anyway i still have to find breakfast i can't find it over here so i guess i'm going to have to go into the town a little bit to hopefully find some food So apparently I'm in all the wrong places. I can't find breakfast. It's 9 o'clock and like all the shops are closed. I see a thousand restaurants but all of them are closed. There's a couple uh small shops with like I don't know biscuits and 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 stuff like that, but that's not really something that I'm interested in, but I'll use it as a last resort. I even walked along all the main roads and everything. Everything is closed, so I decided to walk down this alley to see if there's any I don't know, breakfast in an alley. But on the plus side, I get to walk through this cool little I don't know, residential area. And apparently that turned out to be a dead end. So I stopped. I stopped at a city. What is this? A small stall. I could not find breakfast anywhere in this town. And so the man gave me this. What is this? It's a sweet sweet bonda. Sweet bonda. Sweet bonda. Yeah. You want to come inside? Yeah. Come. Come. <laughs> sweet bonda. Like P O N D A Bonda B O N D A Bonda I don't know Bonda I don't, yeah B O N D A Bonda the texture is soft yeah it feels really nice um 
Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's very... Mm. It's very good. It was either this one or the onion one. And I said no onions for breakfast, so... This is really good. No problem. One more drink we'll go. Okay, I got tea. Oh yeah, it's strong ginger. Yeah, very good. I like ginger. And I learned, we were just talking a second ago, ginger is inji, yeah? Inji. I learned like five words in Tamil, and one of them is inji. What about four? What about... You said five. What is inji? I learned like vanakam. Vanakam. Super. That's a great word. Yeah. Um, inji. Uh, Oh my god. How about, like if you want to say, come, it's uh, come to like a person, va, something like that. Actually, va. in future you tell vanga. Okay, yeah, I've heard vanga. Vanga. Or, yep. Respect the word. Correct. So I just spoke to the man at the tea shop for, I don't know, 20 minutes. Really nice guy. And I had to let him go because Tenzin sent me a message and he says that he's free now, which is like 30 or 40 minutes early. Tenzin, how are you? Hi. <laughs> they made me wear my mask and everything. It's okay. Oh Come on. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah. It's been I think like two years. Yeah. Awesome. So I just met up with Tanzid and uh, his wife, Nahid. And we exited the hotel. We're in the rickshaw. Now we're going to where? Pondi Bajar. Pondi Bajar. Pondi Bajar in Tinagar. Okay. So Pondi Bajar. What is this place? Uh, this is a big uh, marketplace where you have lots of. Uh, Shops, uh -huh. local shops, oh, yeah. and street food. Yeah, so Tanzid is like a, a Chennai expert, even though he's from Bangladesh, yeah? <laughs> no, I'm not a Chennai Is there anything in particular that you're looking for, or are we just uh, looking? Nothing. We're just exploring because this is a big marketplace, so yeah. we're just exploring the whole area mm. to see what what they are offering. It's also my first time here yeah, in this yeah. Pondi Bazaar. He's yeah. the he's the expert, but no, <laughs> but not in this place. I'm not. <laughs> we're exploring it for the first time. Yeah. Right now, all we see is a lot of fruit, a lot of fruits. <laughs> I think these would look good on you. No? Yeah, I think this will look good on me, but this will be oh. definitely for you. Oh, you think I should get this one? Yeah. Yeah. A dracoon. I might. I don't know how people work yeah, with this thing. I would break my leg. <laughs> Not just leg, so many yeah. other things too. Like bone. How about you, Nahid? Do, do you think you could? Walk in this, no problem? <laughs> Lots of problems. Lots of problems? <laughs> so unfortunately, Tenzi did not buy the high heels. Oh. We, could not, we could not make a vlog about that you wearing the high that. heels. Oh, <laughs> and I will be the same height with you. Yeah, totally. you, you'd be up here with me. <laughs> you just run across like nothing. <laughs> I was going to wait another 30 seconds and you just start running. Okay, so, so we stopped at a restaurant for a moment. Yeah. Um, and you ordered a couple different things. Did you order anything new or like are these items that you've ate before? Uh, I ate before, okay. but uh, I never ate this in Chennai. Mm. So okay. I want to compare the taste. Where did you eat them before? In Bangladesh. Ah, okay, so you're preparing and it to Bangladesh. In uh, Bangalore. Ah, Bang Bangalore. Yeah, it has two names Bangalore and Bangaluru. 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 Yeah, something, that that. <laughs> something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. And you are also like a foodie, yeah? You yeah, like she loves food. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know much about food. But you can taste it and say how you like it or yeah, not. Yeah. I can tell you that much. We're ordering something like spinach bara which is like fried in spinach in a uh, butter dough okay. and a dosa and a chola puri, right? Chola puri. Something like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I can show you once yeah, yeah, yeah. it's 
Yeah, Sorry. I don't know what any of those things are. <laughs> so, which, which one is this? Uh, this is uh, Chola Puri. This is called Puri. Uh, this is Shola. We're gonna try this bread. With this two. With one of this these two dips. Are di yeah, these All two right. are different. Ah, oh, they're different. I'm gonna try this uh, yeah. bread dip here. The bread, the bread is really soft. This yeah. one. Make sure you try that one. That one's like hard and crunchy. This one's really soft and doughy. Mm. Oh my god. That's really good. But then we also have this. Uh, is this onion? onion bread? Onion, um, some kind of fried onion. Okay. Which one does this go in? Mm -hmm. This one or this one? This one or this one. Oh my god, I'll try this. I don't know what order these are supposed to go in, so I got the onion thing with the coconut chutney. Good. Mm. I always love the coconut chutney because it's not super spicy. It's usually the same flavor every time. It's really good. What do you think? Is it good? Is it bad? It's good. What's your favorite? I think my favorite one is this one. How about, how about, how about you? What is your favorite? This one? It's really good. Was, Some it the, food. was it the same as Bangladesh? Did it taste different? What, no, was it the like? taste is far more better than Bangladesh. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because this is the local speciality. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. They know how to make it in the local flavor, local I masalas. So it's really tasty and the price is very cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you, Nahid? What do you think? Was it better here or better in Bangladesh? Obviously, better here. Better here. You liked it here too, huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was amazing. It's really good. So I think I had audio problems a moment ago, but they were telling me that they had to do another corona test and the swab basically goes so deep inside their nose that he started to cry and uh, it like basically touches the brain. So we went inside the mall, ate some lunch, um, late lunch. It's like 4 o'clock, 4.30, almost 5 o'clock, I don't know what time it is. And uh, we're not allowed to film inside there, so I wasn't able to show you anything. But now we're going to the beach. We're going to show you some of the street food that uh, they prepare on the beach. There are thousands of vendors, you've seen them in the morning. Hopefully by this time they are uh, they're open. Okay, so we just arrived at Marina Beach, and we're going to walk around. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of separated. Uh, and basically, what we want to try some of the, the local street foods here, and to see which ones we like. And Mr. Bangladesh here wants to test and compare. Mr. Bangladesh? Wow, yeah. that's <laughs> He's official, the official Mr. Bangladesh. <laughs> Captain, Captain Bangladesh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to check out to see what these street foods, how they compare to his country. Uh, and I just want to taste them because to me everything is new. So it sounds like we're going to walk along this area over here um, and walk all the way to the beach to see what we can find over there. Morning, guys. Morning, guys. 
So this is crazy. We're actually in this location where I looked at this morning, if you recall by the footage, where everything was shut down. There wasn't a single shop that was open, and now it's just full. We just entered. You can kind of see behind me. As far as I can see that way, it's basically endless. I, I, don't, e I don't even see the end yet. Oh, and Tanzid said that he wants to get a tattoo to look like The Rock. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe later you're going to go shoot uh, one of the guns over there, yeah? I want to see your aim. <laughs> Basically along this strip there's a million different shops and you see anything from jewelry and hair items to Clothing. balloon shooting with an air rifle, keychains, um, bracelets, shoes, uh, what are those? Home, Home decorations with seashells, um, more shoes, a little bit of tea That's here and the there, uh, sugarcane sugar juice. Thanks. Beach balls, jewelry, literally everything you can imagine is along this trail. <laughs> Look, there are so many tattoo shops. Which body part do you want it on? You want it on your face, your cheek, your chest, your leg, your ankle? I think that was my Yeah, the calf? Yeah. On your calf. Okay, we finally made it to like the end here. We're gonna go take a photo really quick. Then we're gonna come back and try to eat. We're gonna try to eat some of these street foods here and see what they're all like. The smell here isn't the best. Uh, it smells similar to cooked fish and raw fish together, so the smell here isn't really appetizing. So Nahit said she's going to jump into the water first, right? With you! <laughs> you number one? <laughs> no. Alright. I don't think anybody's gonna go in swimming. One thing that always amazes me in Asia, including India, is how many people go outside to the beach, to the park, anywhere, outside in the evening. As far as I can see this way, and as far as I can see this way, it is just tens and tens of thousands of people. It's just insane, uh, and I love it. I'm gonna test this water. Uh, oh, that's really close. Oh, that's nice too. For being relatively winter, um, the water is warmer than the warmest point in the place that I'm from, which is Michigan in the United States. So, totally. I want to go swimming, but unfortunately, um, I'm not going to change here. And plus, I gotta be on a bus tonight anyway. So, what is this? This is cauliflower pakora. Pakora. Cauli so, cauliflower fried in a batter in deep oil. It's just like deep fried cauliflower. Yeah, deep fried. Name is pakora. Looks like there's a couple onions. You have this in Bangladesh as well, yeah? We have different kind of pakora, not with the cauliflower. Ah, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, let's test it. See what. Uh, I got a little onion too. I don't know. Let's try it. Like hot. It's hot. Just came out of the oil. Yeah, there's like almost no spices for me. It's not spicy. It tastes kind of like cauliflower, which is good. What do you think? So. It's good. If you, if you compare this, if you compare this to the thing that you eat in Bangladesh, which one would you prefer? I think in Bangladesh we have lots of deep fried snacks yeah. like this, and it's taste almost same because the preparation is kind of the same. How about you, Nahid? Which one would you prefer, this one or Bangladesh? Or no preference. Again? Almost similar. Almost, yeah, almost the same. For me, I don't know. I never had pakora in Bangladesh. So, yeah. So this one, it's even. But. But? But you should try. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Okay, the second food we're going to try is uh, pani puri, yeah? Yeah, pani puri. Um, you, have, you also have this in Bangladesh, yeah? Yeah, but, uh, but the preparation is slightly different. A uh, lot of different. Okay, very different. Okay. Yeah, very different. And then what is the dip? What is this? This is uh, tamarind water. Tamarind water. Tamarind water. Yeah. This is called the pani. Okay. And this is the puri. Oh, no so way. you have yeah. to put the pani so inside the puri. So you put some of that inside. And then you will have it. You know? Okay. So we have limited hands. I'm gonna grab one. You're gonna pour it in there. Okay, good. Let's try. <laughs> <laughs> I 
your turn. Come close to the camera. What do you think? <laughs> How about you? Not this. No. I think I have had so many Pani Puris in northern India that were amazing. This is like empty, almost no taste. Yeah. And all it's basically onion puri. Yeah. All I taste yeah. is a mouthful onion. of onions. There's nothing else inside. So That's I'm gonna good. say I'm going to think that the Bangladeshi version it's is a, much better. Like, Thousand ten better. Yeah. Thousand ten better. And it yeah. is just like it just not even one out of ten. I think I just had a mouthful of onions and that's basically it. Oh yeah, just raw onion. These like banana chips, they look really weird. They're skinned vertical and looks like there's spices in them, yeah? I don't know. I see like they might be spicy. I don't know. Are you ready? Let me find the small, small one. Oh my god, I got the biggest one. Ready go. Oh my god. I almost broke my tooth. Yeah. What do you think? Hey. We are but, yeah. There's absolutely zero Strong. moisture inside. Um, yeah, it's very very crunchy, slightly spicy, and absolutely zero flavor of banana. Like, absolutely none. No. If I closed my eyes and tasted this, I would think it was a chip. No, it's not banana. You don't... Oh, she said Kayla. Yeah, she said Kela, but it doesn't taste like Yeah, it banana. doesn't taste like a banana whatsoever. Really? We have one bangla down. She doesn't want to try. Hope she's gonna try. Uh, no taste Best banana Kela chip banana. in the world? No, there no. is no taste. No. It, it tastes dry. like it tastes like dry. Dry, yeah. Yeah. No flavor. So how about banana chips in Bangladesh? Better or worse than this? Uh, we, we never eat banana chips. Never eat banana no. chips? Oh my god. So the banana chips in the USA are one million times better than these. These taste like air. <laughs> it is about nine o'clock, after nine o'clock, so I have to take a bus from here to here to here, but eventually my end destination is Madurai. Uh, I now live in Madurai while I am waiting for flights to go to Sri Lanka. So, I'm gonna start this journey pretty much right now. I'm waiting for a local bus to take me to my first stop. It was a very fun day. I'm so happy that I was able to see Tenzin again, and I met his wife for the first time. It is very rare that I meet people that I've met in the past who helps me on YouTube. So it's super cool to meet him again. Uh, in a foreign country. Yeah, it does not happen very often at all for me, so pretty cool. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go. I can see my bus is coming. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.